if you are an experienced software developer you already know that you cannot escape from refactoring the code one of the things that we gonna deal with is old or even new stored procedures at the heart of old database and applications so we might say okay this application is too old and if there is any new feature or new requirement we just do it and go there is no testing nothing or the customer should do manual testing or the company should do manual testing and just bye bye but I can tell you and I am telling you there is a way to have unit test against a stored procedures in this short video I'm going to show you something manual and in the next one I am going to show you something with some tools and some things that can handle and ease the job. So let's see a small scenario and then I will show you how we can handle unit testing against the change that I am going to make in something that already developed. Look at this database, customer table. I have customer ID, name, family, phone, address, B date, passport number. Very, very, very simple. Okay, close. I have a very simple stored procedure. It returns all the customers without any filter, any condition, nothing. Okay? Based on some things, some situations, the requirement is dictating us to add one more field. But before that, I need data. See, my table is empty. I need some sample row at first to be able to show you something. Since I am lazy, I will get help from ChatGPT. Let's see. How can I get help from ChatGPT? By this. Then I will jump to ChatGPT. Okay, please generate 10 row for this table structure with insert or buy. Buy is better. Buy insert command I do not need customer ID since it is auto generated so like this and then I will say the table name is customers let's see it's bad it's bad again it 
it did better آها اوکی 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 I like it. It could be done in a single insert command also. Copy code. Come here. Okay. Yep. So, the data is here. Perfect. But, Let's go back to the new requirement. Now, this stored procedure works fine. See, it returns all the rules. Very good. The re new requirement is that please add one more column is active. Like this. That's all. And then, based on some conditions, and then data conversion or something like this, everybody is active except this guy and this guy. Okay. The requirement is that please show only active customers. Okay. Now I want to be able to have something like test. So I will say select or I can generate yeah, I can generate some like this. And then say where is active like this is equal to zero. Two row is here. When I run the stored procedure like this, see, and this, see, these two guys, Michael and Sarah. are still here these two so this means this is my unit test as long as the data coming from my test is in my stored procedure returns data the test is failed how to fix I should come here, modify, like this. So, now, I still have two inactive person, customer, something. But here, I made a mistake, I should say one. Okay, so now two rows are here, but they are not here anymore. So it's kind of testing, but it's so manual, so behind. What is that? Should I do something like this for every situation, every business that I am going to deal with, I hate it. So what should I do? In the next click, clip, I will show you how can I use some tools to ease the job and 
to make it more reasonable, nicer, and a little bit automatic. So, follow the clip, subscribe the YouTube channel to be in the circle of the things that we are going to show, teach, or explain. Thank you so much.